Hey guys, welcome to the Daily Smash for Tuesday, December 12th, 2023. It's 1212. Ooh, it's my, it's my older brother's birthday. I'm Rick. Whose birthday? JR. Oh. 1212. You're going to have to call him. I'm calling him. <laughs> no. <laughs> Sorry. This is going to be another great show. <laughs> Stay tuned. We're going to talk about Elizabeth Vargas, okay? Because we put it on our uh, Rick and Kelly show on Patreon a couple weeks ago. Yeah, and everyone's was... asking. They're like, oh, I thought you guys were friends. I thought you guys were friends. And uh, I forgot that a lot of people don't know the backstory. Yeah, I told my Patreon people, but I have to tell you guys. One Actually, of the I'm reasons. Gonna, I didn't even talk about it in the beginning when when Jolie when I have to talk about it from the beginning how okay. it's a long story and one of the reasons we put it on Patreon is because the texts are so graphic that I'm going to have to use initials for a lot of these words but we're going to get to that in a minute can we not say the words I could say F okay you know what I mean okay I I, I am I think I think I'll tell you about the Elizabeth Vargas thing but I we're, we're, but I just I kind of want to um Say that everybody in Newport Beach talks bad about Elizabeth Vargas except for Steel Platt. Okay, like there, 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 there isn't one person that doesn't have anything negative to say about her, or they they talk crap about her, and then they go around and then they act like they're friends with her. Like it just is. I think I snapped yesterday. I had two beers. Um, I haven't drank in like three weeks. And uh, I had two beers at the class of 45. Mm -hmm. Class of 47. And, or whatever. And uh, and you got upset and when you I saw I got upset. Like, yeah. alcohol is not good for me. And I know that. Okay. So, I snapped mm -hmm. because I just, people send me stuff. And I, I, I think at the, at the moment, um, I, I, you know, I'm just like, everyone talks bad about her, but they're fake. I just... I don't want people talking bad about me and then acting like they're my friend. I'm sorry. I just don't like that. I think it's fake. I think it's I think it's gross. Well, one thing people will always get from you is the real deal. Right. How you really feel about That's things. A, she yeah. doesn't hold back. And so sometimes... And, and by the way, I never called Krista, whoever said it, a grifter. I don't even know what a grifter means. Like, I don't even... That's not even in my vernacular. Others had called her that. But, but not Heather counting. McDonald called Krista a grifter. I didn't, I wasn't fake with Krista. I told her what she did with those earrings was horrible and bad. And I had a conversation, a private conversation with Krista. So I am not fake. I let her know exactly how I feel. I let Heather know exactly how I feel about things. Mm -hmm. And I, I'm not fake. I'm not. I, I call it like I see it. I say exactly how I feel, and I don't beat around the bush. Okay, well, we're going to get to the, Elizabeth the rest story. of the story after we take care of some business here, uh, including asking you guys to subscribe here on YouTube if you haven't yet. And I know some of you get unsubscribed without trying. Maybe check and make sure you're still subscribed because then you'll get notified every time we post, which is every day, like clockwork. My daughter Shoshana texted me, and this is a, an amazing text. I helped her get a job at the Comedy Cellar. I'm friends with the owner in New York City. And she was working at a companion uh, uh, restaurant, but not, I guess, in the cellar Well, she itself. does. So she works for your ex-wife. She does like a billing or something like that, right? Yeah, but... But, but she, she's got a job. Right, but she had this waitressing job, but she wasn't working at the cellar. Because they have multiple locations. So she said, hey, so I did my first comic shift the other day. And the very first comic I served was Louis C.K. Which is so funny because he was also the first comedy show I ever saw. It was at Village Underground with you, me, when I was like 13, LOL. I told him and he tipped me really well. That is so <laughs> cute. I'm so proud of Shoshana. Me too. I'm like, really happy for I'm her. I'm really... Like, I was, we went to her place in the city. She lives by Chinatown. Mm -hmm. And it, it's like, it's kind of like, you know, how you're young and you're living in the city and it's small and everything. And I'm like, you have to work two jobs. You have to work two jobs to yeah. get ahead over there. It's crazy. Well, I would love to see her uh, and upgrade she's hustling. her place. But she is hustling. And I'm, I'm proud of her and uh, I'm happy for her. And this is cool. She's going to meet a lot of comedians and she wants to be a, a writer. Yeah. A comedy writer. So this is a great way for her to be exposed to the material and um, 
and and she's off and running. So good. yeah, um, good job, Shoshana. Yeah, good job, kid. Uh, I want to read this uh, a piece of an email I got from Shinesty. You know, we're promoting the underwear. These are the uh, the men's. Kelly showed off her new sports bras yesterday. Yeah, I should have put one these, on. These are the uh, the Shinesty. They come with a uh, ball hammock, which you can see right here. So, we so were do you just sit, do you just put your balls in there? I don't even have to put them in; they just drop right in there. Oh, they do! Oh, yeah, they this is amazing. Right it, it it actually works really well. They fit very nicely, uh, which is part of the story because we promoted them, and one of our patrons on the Rick and Kelly show, this guy Bruno, who did the graphics for our, our sweatshirts, buddy. and he 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 taught me this, which soft. are available on RickKellyShow.com. We love hats. Bruno. And he did this one, too, which I think is just beautiful. This is for our Patreon show. Bruno's from Louisiana, and he is, he's hysterical. So uh, these are available at rickkellyshow.com. Anyway, um, <laughs> we're doing two commercials in one, and then we're done with commercials. Bruno revealed that he bought the Shinesty underwear. He showed us on our, on our And Zoom. the pouch, he says, was not quite large enough for his package, for his... Ball sack? The ball hammock wasn't a big enough hammock, apparently. So I wrote Shinesty, and I said, hey, by any chance you make a larger hammock size for one of our uh, patrons who uh, requires a larger hammock? And they wrote me back, shoot, unfortunately we don't have a larger size pouch, but I will send that feedback to the product development team. <laughs> but I think it's awesome. So we may have inspired them to create a new line of Shinesty ball hammock underwear with a larger hammock for the larger bald man. So I, ha I was telling <laughs> Oh, and a story. lot of people are using our discount code. Sorry, one more thing. It's uh, you, Rick you, and Kelly 15. So you know Rick and Kelly women 15. wear bras. Shinesty.com. Go ahead. So women wear bras yes. so they don't sag, right? So their boobs don't sag. It's, uh -huh. it's, you told me that. It's to keep them up. Oh, you mean in general? In general. Yes, of like, course. Like that. Is, so... I wonder if it's like that for men, for your ball sack, because I, I'm, I'm not kidding, this is a true story. I was with my girlfriend, Kelly Schultz in Arizona, and she's like, her, taking care of her grandfather, who was old. And she's like, okay, we have to go to the, you know, to the place to go find those toilets that are like, you sit up, right? Where you can just go like this. You know, you don't sit all the way down. And I said, why do you have to get your papa one of those? She's like, because when he sits down to go poop or pee, his ball sack hits the water and it splashes. I mean, and I died. You think about the distance between where you're sitting and the water. It's got to be at least. Well, it hung that low <laughs> for it to yeah, splash. I've never, never heard of that in my life. For it to splash back up. <laughs> do you do you have to keep your your things your package? Up so it doesn't get saggy like Listen, girls' boobies. Listen, I don't think you know you you have any complaints about what's going on down here, but no, I don't have to worry about them hanging down into the water. Oh, look, I just got a text message. Hold on a second. Let me listen. Is Hi, it? honey. I just saw Elizabeth at Fashion Island, but I turned, <laughs> walked the other way. I thought of you. Anyway, it was terrible what she did to you. I'm so sorry. Um. <laughs> okay. We're, I guess we're going to get into that now. I was going to talk about the religion thing first. Oh, yeah. Let's talk about that. Um, I just want to say, some of you weighed in on the religion thing. I think Kelly was misunderstood in yesterday's show. Maybe because you had two I beers. Totally I totally respect know. him being... Judy is... I, I, listen, I'm all, I'm all about learning the Torah and like the First Testament. And I, I love Jewish people. I, I want to learn about the religion. I mean, they were the first... Religion okay, out of then, anything, let, let me, so I'm not like I don't understand why people. Let me weigh in here because people seem to think that I should have said something or said more or whatever. This is a non-issue for us. I never asked Kelly to convert because I'm not really a practicing Jew. I am Jewish, 100. percent He had a bat mitzvah. He I can, had a bat mitzvah. He can speak some Hebrew. I, you know, listen, I'm I, I, I'm just not that into it. I don't really celebrate the Jewish holidays. I don't really feel a need to. 
That's my choice. I don't have to. We did own a menorah, and it got lost in one of yeah, our moves. Yeah, Baby Dish bought me one, and I, I can't find it. I'm I can't sorry, find Baby Dish. I, I don't know where it is, but Kelly actually suggested getting one, okay, before this Hanukkah season. So it's not about her not respecting my religion. It's about me just not making it a priority. And she has no issue with mine, and I have no issue I, with we her. We had a menorah for fine. the last four years we were together, for, and... and uh, and, yeah, and, 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 I, I, want, and I want Julie, um, you know, Julie's grown up from, you know, her whole life. She's received all the sacraments except being married and dying. But, she, you know, she, if she wants to marry a Jewish guy and she, she wants to convert, let her. I just grew up a staunch, staunch Catholic and I... I I like I like being Catholic. I'm sorry if you guys took it wrong. <laughs> I mean, and and I, honestly, I'm gonna make an admission here. I actually enjoy going to church with yeah. Kelly. I like it. He likes it, it. I love the feeling in there. I love the beauty of churches. I love the beauty of temples too. And I've been in many many churches and and temples. And uh, I'm your first. Um, all your wives have been. Uh, yes, yeah, uh, you're my Jewish. first non-Jewish wife. Yeah, and and my last wife. Because I'm going to be married to you until I die. So I don't know why everybody should make an issue out of it. It's not an issue, so thanks very issue. much for caring. Okay, this is the... We got this. I'm going to read the, the, uh, this first, and then you can go into some detail on Vargas. How, okay. how about that? So someone said, Kelly, I thought you had previously said... Oh, this was Maxwell Flowers, 8375. Kelly, I thought you had previously said that Elizabeth Vargas was nice... And should have been in Orange County Housewives. Also, didn't you have items stored in Elizabeth's warehouse? And I responded, she was until she wasn't, meaning nice. And we did until we didn't, meaning store stuff in her storage unit. You want to read it? She was until she wasn't, and we did until we didn't. When she turned on me and accused me of having sex with her boyfriend, which I didn't, should I have felt the same way about her? And when she texted my husband saying that the, saying the same thing, was that okay? Oh, and she basically, basically kicked us out of her storage unit before any of this went down so you can draw your own conclusions. So I'm just going to give you the backstory on Elizabeth Vargas, okay? Um, Elizabeth Vargas was next door neighbors to my friend Rob, right next door, okay? So when um, Jolie, I don't know how, how many years ago, maybe five years ago, calls me, uh, comes home. She's like, um, she, her best friend is um, uh, Sophie Herbst, okay? The Herbst, terrible Herbst family, okay? And so Jolie's been best friends with her since kindergarten. And Sandra Herbst says, hey, can I take Jolie with me to Elizabeth's house in the Madison Club. Madison Club is a Discovery property. Kardashians live there. All uh, Tim Cook lives Drake. there. Drake. Drake. Like it's beautiful. It's very all exclusive. It's, it's very exclusive place in La Quinta. And Elizabeth and had a house there with her ex husband. Right. Before they got divorced. So uh, Jolie came back just bragging about this house and how beautiful it was and how nice Elizabeth was to her and all these things. And so. I went to a barbecue probably a week later after Julie went and stayed with Elizabeth. And Elizabeth was with that guy, Jimmy, like it felt like her assistant. And she was wearing like big baggy clothes. And I said, I said, hi, I just want to thank you so much for having my daughter Jolie at your home. And she looked at me and she's like, who? And I'm like, my daughter Jolie, she just stayed with you like last weekend. Like she's like, what? And I'm like, like, like rude. And I was like, yeah, I just, she was with Sandra and Sophie. Oh, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah. She's like, you're welcome. Like, gets up and like walks away. Rude, right? Because mm -hmm. she didn't know who you were. She didn't yet. know who I was. And I, I took it like she didn't know who I was. And that's fine. I, nobody has to know who I am. Right. And so um, probably, you know, probably a year later, she calls me out of the blue and goes, I'm getting divorced and um, I want you to come over to my house in the mass club with Jolie again. Would you mind, would you be up for that? We'll come and pick you up and blah, 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 blah. And I'm like, yeah. I'm like, I would love that. That would be fabulous. 
So we go over there and um, Julie brings a friend and it's all of us. And she's like crying the whole entire time because she has to sell the house and she's getting through a divorce. And everybody in the Madison Club, like Ginger and uh, I mean, I could tell you everybody that was that lives there. I know them all. OK, I know the Stamfields. I know a lot of people that live in the Madison Club. Mm -hmm. And she was acting really weird and strange. And I remember you sending me videos from, from and, that weekend. And all the people in the Madison Club were house. like, she needs to get out of here. We don't like her. She's weird. Like, blah, 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 blah. But she was nice to me. Okay. So and that's how I base things on. If people are nice to me, I, I get it. But she was acting like a weirdo. So then she starts asking me questions about the housewives. You know, and she's like, oh, I've never seen it. I've never watched it. I, 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 I don't know anything about it. Like, what was that like? What is it like? And blah, blah, blah. Well, two months later, she's on the show, okay? Then she starts sending me things like, let's go to Skibo Castle and let's do this. Like, trying to, like, lure me in with, like, fabulous trips and all these things. And she's best friends with John Paul DiGiorgio, who, who sold Patron for, like, $3 billion. Wait, let me, pa and let me pause you for, for a second. So what you're saying is, is that she reached out to you a year later because she, was, she knew she was in the running for Housewives and she wanted to befriend you so she would have a friend on the show. That's correct. basically what you're saying. That's right? correct. That's okay. correct. That's 100%. True. Okay, I believe that. Yep. Well, Makes perfect it is, sense. It, it is what, is what, ha right. what happened. Right. So she gets on the show and, every, and, and Shannon's like, she tells me that she's the richest bitch in Newport Beach. She's like, what? This girl is so full of herself. I can't stand her. She's, she doesn't say, you know, she's got all kinds of stories. And you don't know what to believe. She nothing over exaggerates it. Nothing adds up. Yeah. Like, like, it's weird. And I'm like, well, you know, She's been only nice to me. So that's how I got. But I started seeing patterns of like she would say things were this price. And then she would say this. Like, for instance, she tells my friend Michelle she bought it, um, this house for 11 million. And then she tells another person it was 15 million. And then she'll say like she'll say her electricity bill was 4000 and then this and this. OK, so there was there was weird things that started happening around her. So then she starts dating this drug dealer. Right. And she, this, like, starts dating this drug dealer. This drug, drug dealer pistol whoops her. And then she, you could see that she likes being on, she called me, she said, I'm on TMZ. But turn it on, turn it on, turn it on. Like, she's like, wants to be famous. Then she yeah. says that she's um, doing a podcast and all this stuff. And she wants me to do it. And Rick's like, no, 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 no. Because she laughs after everything that she says. Like, it's annoying. I'm going, I know. So then she starts, like, being kind of, like, shady and weird. So then she... So I have this next door neighbor after I sold my big house in Corona Del Mar and I moved into that little love shack. Um, uh, uh, she, my, I had a friend named Aldi, okay? My next door neighbor. We were super tight. We were super close. I was close with um, Joey the neighbor and Aldi the neighbor. <clears throat> but very, we were very, very tight and very, very close. So we, I move, he moves, we, we always kept in touch. He starts dating Elizabeth out of nowhere, like, right? Uh -huh. And then she starts calling me and t complaining about him, about stuff that I'm not even going to say because it's not good. And then, uh, and then she's like, don't tell anybody about it. First, she tells me her vodka business isn't doing well. I'm like, well, most businesses when they're up and running aren't they don't do well you can write that off on taxes and whatever mm -hmm. it takes it's slow to build a brand you know mm -hmm. and she was telling me all this then the next minute she's like i am crushing it with my vodka mm -hmm. i am making multi-millions of dollars and thank god they fired me from the housewives because they would have taken a percentage of all of the stuff that i'm doing and blah 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 and i'm like oh okay great for you good for you you're doing very well congratulations uh -huh. you just told me a month ago you were losing money like crazy, okay? Mm -hmm. So then she she was very kind and very nice when we were building our house to let us stay at her house. But like weird stuff. So she, she goes, okay, stay in our room. She had a camera in there. We see the camera. <laughs> we, we, we put a thing over it. She calls us and goes, why did you cover the camera? I forgot in about her that. bedroom, okay? As soon as within seconds after I put a shirt over the camera... She got a text message. Why are you covering the camera? Why are you covering the camera? I'm like, <laughs> so go ahead. Tell the rest of the story. 
we were on the boardwalk. We went by her house on the beach, and somehow it came up that we were looking for potential studio space because we just moved here and our house is much smaller and and a place to store some stuff. And she said, "Oh, you can use my storage unit because uh, I'm not using it right now. I don't. I'm, I'm barely ever there. If you use my, it's huge. It's huge. It's like it's the, the thing's ten thousand square feet. So great. She's so like, and I offered to pay. Podcast. We offered to pay." Um, doesn't want it so but we we moved all our stuff not all our stuff we moved a large amount a big pile of stuff in there and i put a bunch up on a shelf and there was a pile in the middle of the room but, but she, there, there are other stuff but piled she made up next it to sound it. to us like it was no big deal she doesn't use this space there's plenty of room uh-huh. go ahead so we do and then a couple months later it's like oh i didn't know you were gonna have this much stuff and oh we have plans for this space you got to get your stuff out of here now it's like oh okay so, Fine. So we so we did. We as soon as we were back from our travels, I went over there and I loaded up our truck a few times and moved the stuff back into our garage. So she started doing like weird stuff. So I was on Rachel You Could Tell's um, podcast. She calls Rachel You Could Tell and wants to do her podcast. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm on Jeff Lewis. She she's like DMing um, uh, Jeff Lewis to do his, po- his, his his radio show. So she calls me and she goes, "I'm having Gina Kirchenheyer uh, list my house." Yeah. And I go, Gina Kirchenheyer lives in Mission Viejo. She uh-huh. doesn't live in La Quinta, which is two and a half hours away. I'm like, she just got her license. Why wouldn't you go with like Sotheby's or somebody who's in the market that Someone has in high the end, desert. That has in the desert or is, is not a rookie. Like I didn't understand that. She was like, I'm smart. You, you don't know what you're talking about. I know what I'm doing. I'm LOL. like, LOL. LOL. That's what she wrote. So I think she was mad that you said that and publicly, like, I mean, you basically called her out for, and it was obvious that she was hiring Gina because she was trying to get back on the show. Obvious. She wanted, and at the very least, have her home featured on the show, which I understand. I do too. I totally understand that. But I think it was more than that. I think she's still trying to get back on And by the house. way, that Gina Kirchen hire could not effing stand elizabeth i talk about that all the time if you guys follow me for a long time i always talk about how gina went after elizabeth and they never showed it like they always protect gina oh, when well, you guys were in that house at the yeah, lake at right? the lake and how elizabeth wanted to go home and she was crying hysterically and now all of a sudden they're all kumbaya yeah it's 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 sickening what Okay, but what really, the straw that broke the camel's okay. back, because there was plenty of stuff, nonsense back and forth, and we, you know, we still like Elizabeth, like she was okay, and she exaggerated, but every, whatever. But every single person that would talk about Elizabeth, they can't stand her, and they would say how much of a liar she is. So well, out this, of nowhere, this, out of nowhere. She gets text. I get a text from Elizabeth. Uh-huh. And... She, oh, I wanted to, she wanted me to go see her house in Harbor Island, okay? Mm-hmm. And she, we, I got champagne, and we're like ready to go. We go to her to go her house. She's got the the things closed, and I knock on the door, and I go all day. I go, what's wrong? She's like, Elizabeth um, is in the room crying, like she can't get out of bed because it's the anniversary of her dad's death. And I looked at him like she said that he like was in a cult and that he molested her and she hated him and now like she's like like I nothing added up like it was just so, like bizarre I felt like I was in the twilight zone with this chick okay so well I mean she to- she totally flaked she whatever so I didn't whatever so I get this the next day I get this this text are you gonna read it well this these are my oh, texts oh let me read oh that's Shoshana texting Rick um so I'll read it to you so, I get, on Monday, November 6th, she, she writes this to me. You got your wish. I know you and Aldi have hooked up. He f- told me, finally, we are no longer together. Good luck with each other. Okay? And I was like dumbfounded, right, when I read that. Because I never hooked up with Aldi. Even if I did... I would totally say I did. I would. I was single. I could hook up with whomever I wanted to. So I go, what the F are you talking about? WTF. What are you talking about? I never did. And I would tell you if I did, if it did happen. And what does that have to do with your relationship with him anyway? He's my friend and my, and was my neighbor. 
He had sex with all my friends, but never with me. And I'm very happily married. You're not making any sense. Sorry you're hurting, but this isn't about me. I go, you'll find someone better. I thought, you know what? I'm going to take the high road. Yeah. Like this chick is like, there's something obviously cuckoo birds in her brain. Like I'm not, I'm, I'm dealing with a mentally ill person. Okay. So I thought killing her with kindness and having some grace. I said, you'll find someone better after she accused me of having sex with Aldi. And I just want to say that if, and Kelly didn't have sex with this guy, but if she did, it would have been before we met years ago. And we both had lies before we met each other. So, and why would that matter to her? Wait, just let me go. Can I read? I'm yeah, gonna yeah, read, go I'm ahead. Gonna read the text message. Okay, I go, you'll find someone better. I claim bullshit. You're not happily married. <laughs> what? You are mean at the world because you're mean to yourself. You know, I love you. The truth hurts. Oh, Yeah. And I go, ha, 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 I'm mean to the world? I go, I'm mean to liars, con artists, and fakes. I don't care what you think, Elizabeth. The problem with you is that you don't know the truth from lies, delusional. That is why you're so miserable and no one wants you. Have a nice life. Stop texting me, wacko. And, and you know, in Kelly's defense, she wouldn't have said any of those things if Elizabeth hadn't come after her with these false accusations. Well, no, it gets, it gets better. So I block her. I'm like, I'm not going to entertain this lunatic, okay? Yeah. So t- she starts texting Rick. So then she texts me. Kelly blocked me because she effed Aldi and we are now broke up over it. You are an amazing human being that deserves respect. Don't let her lie to you. I was furious, okay? He read this to me and I'm like, she's insane. First of all, that is like, I don't know where this came out well, of. Let me write Let me write what I responded. Thanks for the high praise. Kelly became very good friends with Aldi when they were neighbors and many of her girlfriends apparently slept with him, but she didn't. She's not lying to you and she's not lying to me. I know my wife very, very well. She has no reason to lie about this. If she slept with him, she'd tell me. It's not a big deal. I promise you, if she did, I wouldn't care. It would have been before we met. Kelly had plenty of boyfriends before me, and I had plenty of girlfriends. What's in the past is in the past. What what matters is what's happened uh, since we met. I'm sorry you guys broke up and sorry you're so unhappy, but I'm not sure why you're coming after Kelly and not sure why you're so concerned with whether or not she slept with Aldi. It has absolutely nothing to do with whatever relationship you had with him. You need to focus on your own behavior and what really matters and stop trying to blame Kelly for your problems. This isn't about her. It's about you. I'm trying to reason with her. Yeah. And she writes back, Rick, you literally fell for it. (laughs) What a lunatic. Like, what I felt for, a lunatic. And I said, fell for what? Do you think Aldi and Kelly are in a secret relationship? Do you think they're sleeping together right now? Because I can assure you we're together 24-7 and it would be an impossibility. And she writes back, figure it out, Rick. So I said, oh, I get it. Their spirits are banging in the spirit world. Thanks for the heads up. Figure it out, Rick. You're not stupid. You're welcome for telling you this early on and sparing you the misery. Can you believe this, Swacko? So I finally said, oh my God, just stop. You need to get out of your dark place. It's absolutely ridiculous. This has zero effect on our lives. Zero. This is your issue and your problem, and we don't want or need any part of it. Aldi will still be our friend. Best of luck to you. Okay, Rick, whatever you want to believe, that is your reality. Take care. And like what, a week or two later, she gets back together with all so, of them? So, so, yeah, Christina sends me a picture of him like this on the piano. Like, like, <laughs> like everyone makes fun of her. Like, everyone. So then my friend Jackie tells me, she calls her and starts going crazy on her. And I, supposedly he broke up with her. She I, allegedly wanted to kill herself over this guy. Now... Everyone was at the Christmas walk here, uh-huh. and she's telling everybody that she's getting she's engaged to Aldi. Well, she was wearing a ring, right? She's telling everybody she got engaged to Aldi. I mean, this lady is a lunatic. Well, a lunatic. So, for those of you who are wondering why Kelly is not 
close friends with Elizabeth anymore. It's because she accused her of sleeping with her boyfriend and then tried to warn me about it when it's complete nonsense. She put doubt. Like, it doesn't no. matter. I know it's not. She I tried. Know. She, she tried didn't. to put doubt into Rick's in me like 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 it's just it that's awful that's like it, it is. is it's it's trying it's, to ruin someone's marriage because you're unhappy because you're trying you're to make un- other people unhappy and right. that's just like that's kind of sinister yeah it's 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 nuts and listen i i always liked her always got along with her she's uber uber but she's I, got great qualities like she's super generous yeah super generous but 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 not but she's got a mental issue she's she's not uh, all there like she's she's mentally she's mentally all i know is it's it's you get a lot of different stories and things are always exaggerated the numbers never add up and whatever like i i basically we're just i'm not worried about it i think i think too is that i've I've had it and i think like like when when i saw people are sending me the pictures because i don't follow gina and i don't follow elizabeth so people are flooding me with heather hanging out with her i i I pr- look, Heather can hang out with whomever she wants to. Okay, that's that's Heather's thing. Yeah. But I think what I snapped about was because Heather knows what a lunatic this girl is. Yeah. And she's like over at her like at, over at her house for I don't know a content whatever. Okay. I shouldn't have said anything. I was wrong. Uh, she can hang out with whoever she wants. Uh, I I I just I I snapped and so. Okay. Well. Uh, uh, good for you for yeah. explaining it. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> you know, it's just it's just all these people constantly talk bad about her and and say these things, but yet they hang out with her, they they use her house. We want this to be a happy place. Yeah. This this, this room is a happy room, uh, and this show is a happy show. But sometimes things come up and we have to explain them. And sometimes those explanations involve um, a lot of like bad things. So, Wait, can I just event. show you a cool thing that I got today at Cosmetic yes. Care? And I'm not getting paid to, to do this. Um, I got a hydrofacial and I love those things. They, they use all these kinds of serums and then they suck out all the gunk out of your face and then yeah. you can see it at the end. It's nasty. If you guys ever have an opportunity <laughs> to get oh, a yeah, I saw you hydrofacial, it's great. But I got, so I'm in the sun a lot and the sun ages you like crazy. And I'm, you know, and I don't want to get like discoloration. So I found this product. It's called Skin Better Science. I love this stuff. Skin Better. I use like all their products. But... It comes with this little sponge, and it's like a mineral-based SPF. Look at that. Huh. And it's 68. It says, oh, the SPF? The, yeah, the SPF is 68, broad spectrum. Wow. 68 sunscreen compact. How, how cool is this? That'll protect you. That's a really smart idea. Isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, it's a great idea. All right. Get so. yours at Cosmetic Care. Skin better science. Okay, well, we hope you have a smash-tastic day, everybody. And uh, now you know the Elizabeth Vargas story. The full story. Uh, the we'll truth s- and nothing but the truth. We'll see you back here tomorrow. Oh, wait. Somebody sent me this for an Asadi um, bread. I thought it was a plate. And I opened it up and there was a giant loaf of bread in there. We don't know who sent that to I us. I don't know who sent this to me. But... I love this. I like the box. Yeah, it's, it's like a hat box. It's like a hat box. But there's this giant loaf of bread in it. What are you supposed to do with that? Eat it. <laughs> I don't like that kind of bread. I'm well, sorry. why don't we bring it to Christmas dinner with I'll, your I'll, cousin I'll Tony? It. All right. How long is this good for? Is it filled with like? I don't know. I think like you better, if you're going to regift it. You better do it fast. And whoever gets it, if they watch the smash, they'll know. <laughs> I just don't eat bread. I try not to eat bread. Let's just make a really big sandwich. I think it's sweet. Oh, it is. Yeah, like how a do you, cake. It's like what do they say? How do they say it? Panazzotti. Pen, Pen, I, I don't know. It's it's. I don't know. You okay. want to open it up and try it? Not if you're going to gift it to someone. I. I don't know who it came from. I'm, <laughs> I just don't, I try not to. You want me to sign that book for you? 
Rick signed the wrong book today. It was hilarious. I, I'm not 100%. I have to go back and check. I might have signed a book to the person who bought it and not to the person they wanted me to sign it for because I might have missed the email. So I have to make... It's, it's, it's a lot. I'm signing a lot of books now and it's hard to keep track sometimes when it's between Venmo and the you know rickkellyshow.com and then I have to find the email, the corresponds to the order. But thank you for ordering my book. And uh, if you like your copy rickkellyshow.com just search book it'll pop up and uh thirty dollars uh no twenty five dollars plus shipping sent right to your door yes in time for the holidays mm -hmm. take care everybody bye guys